welcome to this edition of For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments. In this video, I will be looking at some of your comments that you've left on my videos. Now, they could be questions, they could be statements, they could be criticisms, and of course, there can be trolling going on as well. But I will be giving my kuleana to your missives in this video. Remember, I don't take anything personal and it's a good idea if you perhaps would do the same because with correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar it's critical to maintain the balance of the honor grace peace neutrality and rule one rule equal so without any further ado let's get to it first comment comes from member Jonathan Todd thank you very much for your membership and Jonathan says kudos very informative video couple questions concerning the envelope that hopefully will benefit others as well do you ever use a green or pink return receipt card or the white registered mail receipt declare of okay to answer the first question as I said in the video, Jonathan, it depends upon what it is you're doing as to what sort of receipt you will get. Well, not that what you get, but what you, the, kind, the type of seat that you will receive when you tell the clerk what it is you want to do. You have to know what it is you're doing when you walk in there and what type of receipt you want, if indeed you want one. And I do explain that in the video that there are many different things you can do. Now this was a very general video as far as postal mechanics. I don't go into great detail about that because for me it's a safety issue and I have to first certify your knowledge level of correct sentence structure before I would even go into those things with relation to correct sentence structure which by the way is the only way I've ever used these mechanics these postal mechanics in relation to correct sentence structure. Uh, so the answer to your question is do you ever use a green or pink return receipt card or the white registered mail receipt? The answer is yes, I have Declare a value Well, there is a space on the Seat where you put the value in there if you choose to in the box, but then again, there are also mechanics uh, having to do with those boxes that I don't go into in this video which again fall under the safety guidelines again if you want to learn those mechanics I'll be happy to teach them to you uh, but first you have to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge do you commandeer the barcode they put on it well any stamp that they put on I autograph over it and thumbprint it ever use a certificate of mailing and do you ever use the receipt number from your live life claim or fate writ claim for anything Jonathan your questions lead me to believe that perhaps you don't know what a live life claim or fate writ claim what those things actually are in relation to those receipt numbers so again uh, I'd have to certify your knowledge level first before I would teach those things but I can definitely tell you that the registered number you get when you do your live life claim that would be your vessel number and your live life claim number same thing with the favorite volition claim uh, and so do you ever use the receipt number well of course because the registered receipt number for your live life claim is your live life claim number that's it's kind of a interesting question there that's what leads me to believe that perhaps you don't have full closure on what a live life claim is but uh, thanks for the question another one from Jonathan he says I think it's a combination of those answers oh this was to a poll that I did 
Uh, and he says, and maybe they feel constricted by only having four and they can't resolve their dilemma for lack of knowledge. And probably lack of patience. Well, that was in response to a poll that I did and there were four choices. And that's basically also a psychological test. I mean, to be able to work with the information that you have and ha have at hand, and that's all you have to work with, and make that work without asking something different or going outside the lines with the rules of the contract, because now you're modifying it. So that's why I do that uh, with those polls, to see who can actually follow directions and actually read and understand what's going on and comply with that, or not participate at all, and those who try to modify it or bend it or uh, change it, so to speak. Next one comes from Ruby G., and they say, even though my enthusiasm to detach from fiction lead me to be thrown overboard by sharks who took advantage of my ignorance. On the contrary, my intuition saved me from drowning whilst the sharks carry on flowing with the current. My biggest lesson in my journey is that it's about balance between logic, which has no intuition, and intuition, which has now, logic, the art of understanding the mystery of life's opposites coexisting. No pain, no gain, as they say. Got me to get my butts out of the way. Feeling lucky being here now. Well, thank you very much for the comment. And of course, it's, uh, it's always a good thing not to be eaten by sharks. Next comment comes from Frederick Sullivan, <laughs> and they say, do you have a live life claim? And I just had to chuckle out of this comment, because this is one of those individuals that obviously just happened upon a video, didn't do any research, or get anything else except for one video. They probably didn't even finish that video, and then they wrote this comment. So this is the way I give coolie on it to someone like that. I say, welcome to my channel and welcome to YouTube. I see that your channel is only five months old. Feel free to take a look around. With minimal effort on your part, you will have the answer to your question. What you put in is what you get out. Thank you. Do <laughs> you even live life clean, bro? So uh, no harm intended, but uh, I found that extremely humorous. Next comment comes from... Barney Edwards. Jason Matthew Glass really sounds like a man of honor. Even my wife said his. So after her meeting with him, respect is key to repeat business. Well, if it is the business of knowledge cultivation, then business is good. Thank you for your kind words, Barney. And uh, welcome to both uh, you and your spouse. I appreciate your viewership. Next comment comes from one of my students, Pascal, and he says, It makes me think of Machiavelli, the ends justify the means. When you think you are righteous, you can justify any wrongs as necessary. Yes, of course, my friend. Uh, and this goes to religion as well. I mean, if you get people to believe in something they can't prove, then you can get them to believe anything and commit atrocities. Or, uh, you know, like the way some militaries uh, educate their soldiers into thinking that their opponents or their enemies are less than human. So it's no big deal to, uh, to kill them and commit atrocities. Or even, you know, when you look at slavery or racism, where, well, you know, one group of people look at another group of people as somehow less than they are. All violations of rule one, rule equal, geometric level playing field, things that are definitely have no place here in this venue. Thanks for the comment, Pascal. Next comment comes from Fast Eddie Pool, longtime viewer. Fast Eddie uses brackets and quotations, so he double doesn't want it on the page. Interesting thumbnail, good music. I said, glad you like the thumbnail. What specifically about it is that uh, about it 
that is interesting to you. And then they responded back, the classic all-seeing eye symbology, see it around Hollywood types. I guess it also means cheeky. Um, so regarding that, I just want to make it clear right now that there is no type of gesturing or anything like that going on in this channel. If uh, I do like a little emoji of a wink, it just means what it means. You know, I'm being cheeky like. Or, or like they used to do uh, back in the day, the wink and the gun. Like that. It's just something like that. It has nothing to do with any type of esoteric symbology. And uh, thank you for your sentiments regarding my daughter. I appreciate that. Next comment comes from someone named Tank Freeze. And they say, fact and fiction is the sole base of your claim. Well, I must draw your attention to your use of the word is here. Since you have two words in the subject, you have fact and fiction. The, the word next word would be are, not is. Fact and fiction are the sole base of your claim. Start by claiming your F-I-N-I-T-E meaning of the two. Your syntax explanations avoid the fact that writing is factually an act or not real. The act of writing using letters created by Rome or and more Rome or no idea what that is and presented as <laughs> Kinglish or English 13 more or B more C the capital letter B is the 13th push together that's why they call us a being oh I see what he's doing there yeah I mean that's what the fiction is all about it's playing word games just making something out of nothing like making connections that are so tenuous that you know I guess some people believe in that type of crap but uh, not me and actually when someone writes like this it's very confusing because as confusing as plain English actually is when you learn it, writing like this makes it even worse. So if you're trying to get a point across, uh, I would highly recommend not writing like this. Because this is, like, to me, it is literally babble, even in a plain English sense, because I don't, I don't really get what they're trying to say. Next comment comes from the same individual. They say, my question of the day for you, Jason, is do you live... Or are you alive? Not live. Claim a lie. Lie lies with constant ants. No live is the so-called fact or alive. Can I go live on my phone anytime? Also known as contract with a corporation to show me myself. LOL. Alive, a life claim, and just claiming doesn't mean ownership you're stating again you know I mean if if this individual's goal was to be vague and their goal is to be misunderstood they've achieved their goal because I have no idea what they're saying here uh, maybe they feel like they're being clever maybe it is going over my head maybe I'm not intelligent enough to you know smart enough or or uh, possess enough knowledge to get with their the jive they're laying down but that's just uh a bunch of gibberish to me that's why i like correct sentence structure because uh there is nothing like this there are no games in correct sentence structure it's just straight up facts and i will say that when i uh gave kuleana to this individual i uh i did say those things that i already said and i also asked them why they're here are they here to learn the grammar? Because that's what this is about. This channel is about learning quantum grammar. If you're not here to learn the grammar, then why are you here? And I suspected them of being a troll. And I said as much. And then they responded back. They apologized for misunderstanding. So they assumed that I misunderstood what they were saying, when in actuality, I didn't understand what they were saying. I didn't understand it. I didn't overstand it. I didn't stand it. 
I didn't comprehend it, and I didn't cognize it. I don't know what they're saying, so it's, there's no misunderstanding. I literally don't know what they're trying to say or what their volition is behind what they're doing. It doesn't appear that they want to learn the grammar, but I could be wrong. So that's why I gave them a chance, and then they apologized, and so that's that. I will wait and see what happens, because I'm sure they will comment again. Oh, here they come again. You're speaking English to be finite or fnt. Start at zero point, meaning all words are spells and curses, so I apologize for cursing or spelling in your venue. The suffix ish makes you ignore it or ant. You know, Tank Freeze, I, I don't even know who you are. You know my correct name, you know what I look like, but you are uh, basically hiding behind a nom de guerre. Adjective pronoun, Tank Freeze, I have no idea who you are, and so you actually, I think, perhaps are just here to play games. Uh, and appear clever, perhaps, I don't know. But uh, I will say this, if you continue to comment in this manner, no more of your comments will see the light of day on this channel because this is a correct grammar channel and while I do have a sense of humor this is not the place for noise or what's the word I'm looking for or obstification this is for people strictly about learning grammar and how to convey those things and this is of no help whatsoever this is just plain English but very bad plain English Next comment comes from member Ian. Thank you for your membership, Ian. Ian uh, also was a student of mine. Uh, he says, didn't watch just yet, but my question for you is, ever consider making why correct sentence structure an intro to video for use as the first video someone sees if they are on your channel page? Uh, as I corresponded to Ian, I replied to him, yes, I have considered it. As a matter of fact, I've made multiple introduction videos uh, talking about that subject. And uh, if you do a simple search, just a small amount of effort, and you'll find those videos on this channel. It can be unclear where to start, and so having your introduction first and foremost, along with describing each playlist and any other current projects, would be great for first-timers. Well, I appreciate your suggestion there, uh, but as I responded in, in, uh, in writing, I'll, I'll repeat what I said here in my kuleana, that I found over five years of teaching that there is a fine line between uh, active participation and knowledge cultivation and spoon feeding. Most people just want me to hand them the answer without having to do any work on their own part. And like... I said, you know, an example would be, one example would be yourself, where if you would actually watch, you know, really dive into the videos and study this channel, you would know that I have multiple beginner videos on here. I have multiple videos directing beginners as to where to start. One place they could start is the mini classes, that playlist, if they want to. Um, so, I mean, if you want to put the work in, or if the viewer wants to put the work in, then they have to put the work in. Uh, if you want me to guide you, then you would contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen, and then I would set up the 10 to 15 minute consultation, and you would apply for a correct grammar workshop if you want me for your guide. But other than that, you got to, you know, come and put your big boy pants on and, and do the work yourself. I've already put the thousands and thousands of hours in with over 400 videos, for the public and if they want to learn it's up to them to do it themselves I do the best I can at putting it out there and putting it in a coherent fashion uh, but I direct most of my energy towards the most serious students which would be the ones that participate with the workshops thanks for your comment Ian oh, last comment comes from Ian again he says bruv have you explored human design system yet let's get caught up uh, again, this is uh, 
This is a violation of the terms and conditions of the channel in that we don't talk about belief systems from other places. This is a grammar channel, so we wouldn't necessarily be talking about any type of religion or philosophy or, you know, because human design system is sort of a religion or a philosophy. It has a following and has no place here on this particular channel. Uh, the only other system that I ever talk about is a trivia method, but that's not a philosophy or anything. That's an education tool having to do with being able to teach yourself grammar, logic, and rhetoric. Human design system is something completely different. And so comments like this uh, will be deleted because they have nothing to do with the correct sentence structure. Literally, there's no connection between them. So, I mean, if you want to talk to me about things like that, that would be something you would have to conf uh, contact me in a confidential outside of this channel. Or over on Coral Blade Grotto, if you want to, because Coral Blade Grotto is not a strictly grammar channel. But uh, personal belief systems and, and stuff like that have no place on this channel. But uh, no harm done. Thanks for watching this comments video. If you have any suggestions uh, for videos you know, you'd like to see me do or topics you'd like to see me cover, uh, go ahead and put your thoughts in the comments section. If you want to join the channel membership, you can hit the join button at the bottom of this video and check out the two tiers. I appreciate all the memberships. And of course, as I said before, if you want to apply for a correct grammar workshop, hit me up at the email address below your screen. Please make sure to include your correct name, your full correct name to the best of your knowledge at the bottom of your email so that I know that you take authority over what words you have written on the paper. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.